History of the United Kingdom, 20th century, two world wars. Victoria's numerous children married into many different European royal families, the alliances between these related monarchs escalated into the Great War, W.W.1, from 1914 1918. It began when Archduke Franz Ferdinand of Austria was assassinated in Sarajevo, and Austria declared war on Serbia, which in turn was allied to France, Russia and the UK. The First World War left over 9 million dead, including nearly 1 million Britons, throughout Europe, and financially ruined most of the countries involved. The monarchies in Germany, Austria, Russia and the Ottoman Empire all fell, and the map of Central and Eastern Europe was completely redesigned. After World War I, the Labour Party was created in Britain. The general strike of 1926 and the worsening economy led to radical political changes, including one in which women were finally granted the same universal suffrage as men in 1928. In 1936, Edward VIII (1894–1972) succeeded to the throne, but abdicated the same year to marry Wallace Simpson, a twice-divorced American woman. His brother then unexpectedly became George VI. 1895 to 1952, after the scandal. Nazi Germany was becoming more menacing as Hitler grew more powerful and aggressive. Finally, Britain and France were forced to declare war on Germany after the invasion of Poland in September 1939, marking the beginning of World War II. The popular and charismatic Winston Churchill, 1874 to 1965, became the wartime Prime Minister in 1940 and his speeches encouraged the British to fight off the attempted German invasion. In one of his most patriotic speeches before the Battle of Britain, 1940, Churchill addressed the British people with we shall defend our island, whatever the cost may be, we shall fight on the beaches, we shall fight on the landing grounds, we shall fight in the fields and in the streets, we shall fight in the hills, we shall never surrender. And indeed, Britain did not surrender. Following World War II, the United Kingdom was bankrupt and in ruins. The British Empire was dismantled little by little, first granting independence to India and Pakistan in 1947, then to the other Asian, African and Caribbean colonies in the 1950s and 60s. Most of these ex-colonies formed the British Commonwealth, now known as the Commonwealth of Nations. Fifty-three states are now members of the Commonwealth, accounting for 1.8 billion people, about 30% of the global population, and about 25% of the world's land area. In 1952, the current Queen of England, Elizabeth II, ascended to the throne at the age of 26. The 1960s saw the dawn of pop and rock music, with bands like The Beatles, Pink Floyd, and the Rolling Stones rising to prominence, and the hippie subculture developing. The 1970s brought the oil crisis and the collapse of British industry. Conservative Prime Minister Margaret Thatcher, 1925, was elected in 1979 and served until 1990. Among other accomplishments, she privatized the railways and shut down inefficient factories, but she also increased the gap between the rich and the poor by scaling back social security. Her methods were so harsh that she was nicknamed the Iron Lady. Thatcher was succeeded in her party by the unpopular John Major, but in 1997, the new Labour Party came back to power with the appointment of Tony Blair, 1953. Blair's liberal policies and unwavering support for neoconservative U.S. President George W. Bush, especially regarding the invasion of Iraq in 2003, disappointed many leftists, who really saw in Blair but a rightist in disguise. Regardless, Blair has impressed many dissenters with his intelligence and remarkable skills as an orator and negotiator. Today, the English economy relies heavily on services and, like the rest of the world, is in the process of beginning to rebuild after the global economic recession of 2008. The main industries in the country are travel, education, prestigious automobiles and tourism. 